a prolific point scorer with a blue-collar mentality. Mike Gempler was a three-time all-conference forward for the Gus Davis men's hockey team in 1989, 1990, and 1991. Mike went to the private high school Edgewood. And the first time I saw him play, you can you can kind of pick out the thoroughbreds. It doesn't take long to, to pick out the best kids out there. And he was a very, very accomplished high school hockey player. But what was interesting is when I got back to St. Peter and talked to Donnie, I told him Mike's going to be a better college hockey player, more accomplished in college than high school, when he can let the reins go a little bit and give him a little freedom to bang around in the corners. And that proved to be prophetic. He played on the second highest scoring line in program history with Dave Newcomer and Scott Reddy. Well, we put together a line, and for the life of me, I don't remember how we put those three guys together. Probably three of the most divergent body types. I mean, there was nothing similar about them except they had tremendous chemistry and their skills were very complementary. That trio combined to score 500 points and helped the Gusties compile a record of 63-31-9 overall and 43-19-4 and in the MIAC during their careers. Mike liked the puck. He liked having the puck on his stick and he liked shooting the puck. And if you had the puck and were on the other team, Mike was going to take it away from you. He loved the, working in the corners and would battle along the walls. So it was a very, very interesting line and they all fed off of each other. And in the end, I think they probably all ended up with about the same number of points career-wise. We rode that line for a long time. Having a knack for shooting the puck and battling in the corners, Gempeler lit up the score sheet his senior year, capping his career with 40 assists and 58 points during the 1990-91 season. Both marks that rank second in program history. Well, Mike certainly put up the numbers. I didn't really realize the numbers he had put up or that the line had put up. But I mean, he's got a rank. You know, I, I saw, you know, 17 years as an assistant, you know, some 20 some years of players. He's got to definitely be in the, probably the top dozen forwards we've ever had. As durable and reliable as they come, Gempeler played in 112 career games with 70 goals and 104 assists for 174 points, all ranking in the top eight in the school record books. Gempeler's physical style of play was also evident as he tops the program's list for penalties and penalty minutes. Well liked by his teammates, Gempeler helped the Gusties finish third in the MIAC his first two seasons and then second in both his junior and senior years, including two appearances in the NCAA tournament. I mean, Mike got along with, with everybody. Uh, you know, he wasn't the superstar with his nose in the air. He, he was a regular guy. You know, he liked being around the guys. I think he enjoyed being in the locker room. The guys liked him. You know, he was, he was a team guy. Uh, he was fun to be around, very fun to be around. A 1991 graduate with a degree in business management, Gempeler has been the owner and operator of the U.S. Junior Development Program in Evergreen, Colorado since 1999. Gempeler founded the CCM Hockey Showcase in 2010 and has helped organize and operate a number of other hockey camps and tournaments throughout his business career. Mike and his wife, Mary Beth, live in Evergreen with their daughters, Samantha and Grace. Well, you know, Donnie had an old adage that I think he probably got from the Marine Corps. He always said, is this the kind of guy you want in the foxhole next to you? Is this the guy who's going to give you 110% when it's really battle time? Is he going to have your back when you're on the road in a hostile environment? And he, when the puck was dropped, you wanted number 17 next to you. Absolutely. <laughs>